let's now learn how to debug TypeScript. So the first thing that we need to bear in mind is that TypeScript is not the code that is actually being run in the browser or in Node. We are running plain JavaScript. And in order to be able to debug TypeScript, we need to provide to the debugger source maps so that it can map between the JavaScript code and the TypeScript code. We can see here that in the tsconfig.json file, we have source map set to false. But if you expand some of these nodes, you might notice that you have here some ancient .js.map files, even though we have here source map set to false. These files were generated by the IDE before we had added here a configuration file to it. So if we now remove them and we make a change to the file to trigger its recompilation, we will see that only the JavaScript file is being generated and not the map file. So if we delete the ancient map files that we might have here, they would not be generated at this stage. So we would not be able to have our debugger show us the TypeScript code. For that, for enabling source maps, we simply change this flag to true. Now, whenever a program gets compiled, in this case, it's being compiled by the IDE, but we could also compile it by, via the command line using TSC. We have the source maps that are available now, so we can start debugging our program. We will demonstrate first how to debug this hello-world.ts file in the browser, then we will move to the server. We are going to run this program in the server and we are going to debug it using both WebStorm and the Chrome DevTools as well. There is a way to debug Node.js programs in Chrome. So let's get started. First, let's start our HTTP server. So if we go back here to our package.json, we had here this small NPM script that would allow us to run an HTTP server that loads the index.html page, which loads the hello world program. So if we now switch over to the browser, we would be able to see this program working in the browser. We have here in the console, we can see that the program is working. Now, if we hit the sources tab, we can see here that we have a samples folder and that we have here a TypeScript file and a JavaScript file, also for hello world.js. This means that the source maps are working, that the debugger can do the mapping between TypeScript and JavaScript. So if we add here a breakpoint and we refresh the application, we can see that the breakpoint is hit and take a look at the tab here, the name of the file. We are debugging the TypeScript file in the browser, which is exactly what we wanted. So we don't need to debug the transpiled JavaScript sources because this becomes less readable as the program becomes more complex. Take a look even in this very simple example. From the moment that we use modules, it becomes uh, rather complicated. So the TypeScript source is much more readable and it's exactly the program that we are writing. So I will release here the breakpoint and I will remove the breakpoint here from the browser. We are going to go back to the code and we are going to learn how to add the breakpoint programmatically. So for doing that, we simply add the debugger statement. So a single line ending in a semicolon, this will trigger a breakpoint in the browser. So let's switch over to the browser and reload the page. We can see that the debugger statement indeed triggers a programmatic breakpoint. Let's now go back to the IDE and learn how to debug the same program that we just debugged in the browser, so it's hello-world.ts, but this time we are going to debug it in Node.js as a backend node process. So let's see how to do this. In order to do so, we can add breakpoints to the program directly to the TypeScript file by clicking with the mouse here. For example, let's add a breakpoint here to this line. Notice that you don't have a checkbox yet. This means that the breakpoint was not yet fully applied. So let's see how we can apply a breakpoint here. First, we are going to go to edit configurations and we are going to create a new Node.js configuration. So if you open the defaults here and select Node.js, we're going to click add, so the plus button, and we have just created a new configuration and we choose Node.js, so we are going to debug a Node.js process. We are going to give it a name, so hello world, 
and we are going to point it to the same node interpreter that we have been using so in this case 6.9.0 and for this particular example we won't be needing any more parameters so we click apply and then ok and we will have here hello world available so we need to specify here which javascript file we need to debug so in this case we are going to debug the hello-world.js file so it's important that you point to the hello-world.js file that was generated by webstorm after saving hello-world.ts if you point to the typescript file this will not work we need to point to the javascript file because that's what is going to be executed at runtime by node and that's what it's going to be debugged then the source maps are going to show us the typescript code let's try this out we click apply ok so now we have here the breakpoint and we are going to run the program in debug mode by clicking here the debug button so let's do that and immediately the breakpoint is hit so you can see this dark blue this means that the breakpoint was hit if I add here another breakpoint notice that first the red dot was fully red and now you have this small tick that says that the breakpoint is valid if you hit here on resume program you're going to see that the next breakpoint is hit and we have here for example in this variables pane we have here all the variables of the program so we can debug our program in TypeScript in the IDE and we don't have to debug the sources themselves that were generated as the output of the compilation. We can do our debugging directly in TypeScript. We can also debug Node.js processes using the Chrome DevTools just like we did before in the beginning of this video for debugging hello-world in the browser so for that we can head over to the command line and we are going to use certain flags that are available in node since the release 6.3 so the first flag that we need is minus inspect and the second flag that we need is minus minus debug broker then we need to pass in a javascript file we are going to pass in hello-world.js so it's important that we point to the javascript file we hit enter and we are going to get here a message in the console saying that if we copy paste this url to chrome we will be able to debug the hello-world program in chrome using the same dev tools that we were using before so let's try that we passed in this url that we received from the console and we can see that the program is stopped at the beginning of the execution so we can put for example here a breakpoint we hit resume and we can see that the breakpoint is being hit now at this moment in time we cannot apply the source maps here automatically to map this to typescript so this feature of the chrome dev tools is not yet available we cannot at this point in time debug typescript in node.js processes using the chrome dev tools but it will be available shortly so it's a good thing to bear in mind and to check back from time to time to see when the feature is available